What is up, everyone? Uh, welcome back to uh, uh, Xeno Drifter. Um, we decided to keep playing it because it was kind of cool. We wanted to see what else uh, happened or how else, you know, or how I guess the game progressed. If I could learn how to use words, uh, so we went ahead and did you guys the liberty of not having to watch us come back to the ship. So yeah, uh, do we already go to a new place? No, do we still need to go somewhere new? Yep. Cool. So we're gonna go somewhere else now. See if we can find that jumpsuit. Which is like, I like how that's what you called it, because that's totally probably what it's going to be called. Uh, I don't but I just think it's funny because it's, you know, there's like jumpsuits. Yeah. But like, it would be like a jumpsuit, like, you know, <laughs> it's for jumping. Yeah, right. Like, I don't know, I think it's cool. I, we should go to the red one. I think the red one looks cool. It looks like a big old gumball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, gotta orbit the planet a little bit, you know, <laughs> make sure everything's cool. Everything's cool. Whoa. I think Whoa. we might need a jumpsuit. Uh, oh, no, we can go right. No, yeah, I guess that is a thing, like, it'll kind of tell you pretty quickly. Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. what the fuck? That thing hurts me. Oh. Oh, it hurts me a lot. Oh, okay. Can you, so you have to, like, shoot in the eyeball? Give that a little, was pretty give crazy. A pink eye. All right. So, wait, can you, can you duck? Oh, you can, okay. Oh, God, why did I do that? Dude, this takes a ton of health, too. See, I wait for it to shoot it, and then like, oh, okay. Oh, I can just shoot him. I don't have to like shoot him in the eye. Oh, okay. I was like wondering if maybe you just had to shoot him in the eye. Oh, oh. do you think it takes a lot of health though? It takes like three of your healths. This level might be kind of hard. Yeah, it looks like a It might be a little uh, on the difficult side. Oh, why didn't I duck? Can you just like crawl underneath him? I don't know if I can move forward as I'm ducking, but we'll see. Cause I feel like you're like laying prone, like you could crawl. It's very like uh, single directional though. Oh. Uni. Gotcha. I don't know to describe it. See, cause if I'm... Yeah, so. I okay. I have no like forward motion. So can you just like stand up and shoot him? You don't have to jump? No. I oh, shoot right shit. below him. Like a little Damn, loser. That's how they get you. They tempt you. Maybe just get, okay, so you can get like six shots in. Four, five, six, and then he shoots his laser balls. One, two, three, six. So strong. Do I need a bigger gun? Nah, I think, I don't know if you even get any other guns. Like, we're not, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Dude, I gotta say though, like the herpes that are all around his eye. <laughs> Is that what you said pink eye earlier? <laughs> Cause it's pretty gross. Um, you should probably get that checked out. It's like, it's either like herpes or he's got like fish eggs all over his oh, eye. There we go. Too nice. Yeah, it's all over this map, too. I'm kind of grossed out. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, to be honest. Wait, there wasn't anything up above? Well, I don't know if I should go forward or down. Well, maybe see if... Oh, let's keep it on the same level. Well, no. Oh, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. I think that'll hurt me. So maybe... I do you want to test it? Okay, a little bit. Well... I oh, yeah, okay. So we'll go down. <laughs> okay, well, I was just saying, like, just in case, you know, it's like one of those things where there was like a... a like a health thing over there, and all you gotta do is just go check it out. Oh, yeah. You know? Games like to do that. Ooh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Well... Oh, it looks like there's two different paths. Well, I don't know. They could join at the bottom. Who knows? But, yeah, this level's definitely more disgusting than the last one, let me tell you. Oh, uh, it looks... Yeah, I think they would've led to the same place. Dude, I'm getting hungry. Me too. No, there's a pot pie and sandwich. Oh, man, yeah, dude. Pot pies. That sounds good. We should make a pot pie. Have you ever had a pot pie in such a long time? Like, I think the last pot pie I had were like, uh, you know those little like Marie Callender's microwavable pot pies? Yeah. It was that. And the last time I had one of those, weird things happened. Like, okay, so let's, let's go ahead, it's story time. Let's roll back a couple years. It was when I lived in Rancho, and I lived in this, uh, uh, it wasn't, I don't want to say ghetto, because it like wasn't ghetto, it wasn't like a ghetto apartment complex. Um, it was like, you know, rent was like seven fifty dollars for a one bedroom, so it's like, it's not bad, yeah. you know? Um, and it was like, so the way it worked was like, there was three different apartment complex, where we, we couldn't do anything. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there was like three different apartment complexes, and it went from really nice ones... Sorry, the nicer ones, like the mid range, and then like the cheaper ones. Okay. And so, like, I lived in the cheaper ones. Um, but I, like, I one day I was just 
uh, at home and I made a chicken pot pie and I feel like I had people over like the night before and the next day they were still just like hanging out. The pot um, pies? What? The pot pies or the people? Yeah, yeah, well both. No, the people. And uh, I remember if this was on the same day, because I know what happened, I just don't know if they were like related, but this lady, uh, I had like friends on my patio and this lady was like walking around. I saw one of my friends like talking to this lady, like she came up, cause I was on the first floor. So it was like, you know, the balconies where it's just like a, like enclosed kind of thing, okay. you know, like wood. So it's like a fence. Uh, and she came up, she was like talking to one of my friends and I was like, who the fuck is this lady? Like, why is she, why is she, what is she doing? You know? Yeah. Why is she but doing? at the same time, it also wasn't weird, too weird because there was a lot of times where I would just see people that lived there just talking to people that were at my house because they were just like, oh, hey, what's up? And then they just get into conversations with like random ass people. But she was talking to her or whatever, and I was like, oh, you know, I think I'd asked her what it was, or I just didn't give a shit, I don't know. But anyway, later, so I made a chicken pot pie, one of those Marie Callender's uh, microwavable chicken pot pies. And like, literally, right as it comes out of the microwave, this lady like rings my doorbell, or knocks on my door, comes to my house, and, like I can't remember exactly what she wanted, but, Ultimately, I wound up, she needed to like go to the bus station or something, but it was like too far. And she was like, oh, yeah, something like I, the bus leaves in like X amount of time or whatever. Like I can't walk there because it's too far. Cause it like kind of was. Um, and so I was like, okay, like, do you need a ride? And cause I think she came to my, I think it was the same day, but I think she came to my house because like they had like talked to her before so she was like, oh, I'll just go here and ask to bum a fucking ride. And like, I don't know if she lived in that apartment complex. Like, I feel like she didn't, which was the weird thing. Um, but I was like, okay, let's like being the nice guy that I am. I just took this fucking stranger to the bus station. And I don't know, it was, the whole situation was just really weird. And uh, you know, in the end though, I did get to eat my chicken pot pie. It was a little cold, um, but I was like, you know, whatever. And that was my story. It's pretty great. Yeah, that was cool. So that was my chicken pot pie story. That would make me feel weird about chicken pot pies too. Like every time I cooked one, I would be afraid that someone was going to come. Well, to my it's door not so much it makes me feel weird. It was just like the it, like it, the lady was like fine, but like the, just the situation itself was just weird. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I would just think like, oh, I'm having a having a pot pie. I better make sure there's no neighbors around. Yeah, I don't know. Right. But I was like, I feel like that was like the only place that ever really happened. Uh, it was like at that apartment complex. Like, I've never had anything else like that happen. I don't know. But it was cool, you know? I don't, I feel, I want to say, like, she gave me $5, and I was like, no, it's fine. But probably not. She probably uh, didn't. Ooh, but you know what? That reminds me of another time that I uh, picked up a random person. So, uh, let's go back even further. Couple years back? Yeah, we're going to go even a couple years back before that. And it was when I was still in high school. And I was in like a band with my friend. I don't know if we were in a band at this time or like in between, like whatever, because we did like a lot of band stuff. But uh, I was just hanging out at his house and we were doing whatever. And I was like, oh, like, I'm going to go get a Red Bull. <laughs> And so I drove, or what did I have to do? Did I like need to go to the ATM or something? Or, I don't know, where did he even live? Like, where was I? Cause I feel like the gas station I went to was like way further away from where he lived. Anyway, so I went to the Mini Mart uh, to go get a, a, like Red Bull or whatever. And like, there was a, an ATM that was over by the Mini Mart. Uh, and like, you know, one of the enclosed like ATM things. And I had, I had seen a lady standing out there. I thought she was just waiting for a ride. And uh, so I get my thing, my energy drink, whatever. And I'm driving back and I see that she's still standing outside. And I'm like, this is weird. But I was in like one of those moods where I'm like, I'm gonna ask what's wrong. And so I was like, hey, you know, like, is everything okay? Like, do you need a ride or something? And she was like, oh my God, yeah. Like my ex-husband, like 
we were meeting here or like we came here, someone dropped me off here or whatever. He was supposed to sign like these divorce papers or whatever it may be. And then he just like left me here. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, well, do you need a ride? And she was like, oh my God, that'd be like awesome. Uh, my parents live, whatever. She was like older, I think she was just like, sorry, not older, but like probably like in her late 20s, early 30s. And she was just, uh, I guess, assuming visiting family. But yeah, so then I just like took her to her parents' house. Huh. Yeah, it was just like another weird situation. It was strange. But it was cool because like I was like, oh, what do you do? Uh, or like, you know, what do you do for a living? Whatever, just like making uber small talk in the car. And uh, she like told me what she did. And at the time I was like, oh, that's really cool. Something about like radios or something like that. Because I remember being like, oh, like, <laughs> I remember like, oh, like I'm in a band. And I was trying to find my CD that we had of like the two songs, like our demo basically. <laughs> and I couldn't find it in my car. And I was like, damn it. Like, you know, whatever. Shit, the radio. But I was trying to like, I was trying to like, shit, like maybe I could like, you know. Network. Yeah, exactly. But it didn't work out. I don't know. It was just really funny thinking back on it. Um, but yeah, so those were my two uh, experiences with picking up hitchhikers, pretty much. I mean, even though they weren't like necessarily hitchhikers, but it's boss time. Whoa, it's the same boss. All right, next time on Extra Life Gaming, we're gonna take on basically the same thing. So uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be different, maybe it won't be. But uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.